College baseball has an East Coast bias problem. The SEC is the best conference in college baseball. They have 10 national championships since 2000. They deserve the favoritism. No arguments here. My argument is against the ACC having more credibility nationally than the Pac-12, especially when it comes to the NCAA selection committee. Since 2000, the ACC has won one national championship, Virginia, 2015. Since 2000, the Pac-12 has won five national championships. Oregon State has three, UCLA has one, and Arizona has one. Now take a look at this year's NCAA regional host sites. The West Coast altogether, despite winning seven national championships since 2000, got one host site, and that was Stanford from the Pac-12. The ACC again, despite winning one national championship since 2000, got four regional host sites. Despite being the most recent non-SEC team to win the national championship, the 2023 Pac-12 second place team Oregon State, who again has won three titles since 2000, was sent to the Baton Rouge Regional, arguably the hardest regional to win in the entire country, as their host LSU later won the national championship, while the fourth place ACC team got to play on their home turf. And it doesn't take a genius to know... Four host sites significantly increases the chances of the ACC getting to Omaha and winning. And one host site decreases the chances of the Pac-12 getting to Omaha and winning. And unfortunately, this is what happened. Stanford, the sole West Coast host, made Omaha. While the rest of the Pac-12 shipped across the country for regionals did not. Unfortunately, these results confirm the original bias against the Pac-12 that it is indeed a weak conference and it is compounded year after year until the conference is actually weak, and it will continue to do so until the RPI ceases to be the measuring stick for the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee.